Niemann Hao Beijing. Um, hey guys, how's it going? Um, this is me, Gavin Wood, um, giving you a small, uh, small talk uh, from uh, Sweden uh, for your uh, Polka Dot Beijing April meetup. Yeah, uh, it's uh, it's been a quite a, a year so far, um, and I think we've got a lot more. Um, a lot more interesting events to come yet. I want to give you a quick update on Parachains and Rococo. Um, it's, uh, we're currently on a retreat here in, um, uh, in lovely Stockholm. Um, uh, myself and, um, and a few of the other um, uh, coders from the Polkadot project are here to try to put a, the final um, uh, touches onto the um, various uh, bits of code that are needed to launch parachains, um, not least um, the uh, parachains core itself, but also some of the networking stuff and some of the um, uh, runtime uh, um, stuff. And it's proving to be very, uh, very useful time. Uh, we're getting a lot done. We're managing to squash uh, a number of the uh, reliability bugs um, that you've seen on the um, on the Rococo, uh, the earlier versions of the Rococo test nets. Um, we actually launched a, a test net a few days back um, with some of the more recent changes, and we expect to launch another one um, in the not too distant future. Overall, things are looking a lot more reliable and robust on the Rococo test net. We've, um, I think it's got five parachains on now, but when I last checked. Um, yesterday there were four and, and it was looking very um, uh, much more reliable in terms of a, a fairly consistent 12 second block time for the parachains. Yeah, this is getting to the point where um, we're reasonably happy to um, uh, to release for Kusama. Um, it's not going to happen quite yet because there is uh, one other um, uh, fairly significant bug in the um, availability distribution system um, which we want to squash but um, I do expect it to happen in the fairly near future. We're going to be in Stockholm for another um, week yet, trying to put um, the rest of the work in to get to that launch point. So uh, let's see how that goes over the next few days. We actually had our first um, auction on Rococo um, a couple of days ago, um, which was uh, notably won by, um, uh, by the Mandala. Uh, testnet there, the Akala team. So uh, uh, congrats to them. And uh, Plasm managed to pick up the second auction. Um, para uh, the crowd loans uh, palette is also enabled. So um, and we've, we've seen some of the crowd loans actually uh, happen um, there as well. So that's 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 great. Um, all in all, things are starting to uh, um, uh, uh, to look um, uh, pretty close to the point that we. W that I'm comfortable um, pulling the trigger and getting it out on Kusama. So um, pending further testing on Rococo uh, and, uh, and this, um, this bug, uh, I, uh, I, I think that we're, um, we're getting very close. Um, I would say probably days rather than weeks uh, before launching on Kusama. Um, first thing that will be launching, of course, will be a system parachain, very much uh, uh, likely to be the statement parachain. So this is a, designed to be a sort of largely featureless parachain um, for um, placing um, assets that don't have any um, special on-chain mechanisms. Um, at the moment, we have the fungible assets palette in there. Um, perhaps not by launch, but soon after, there will be a non-fungible um, assets palette in there uh, as well. Uh, but not much more. Um, I don't expect it to be very um, uh, uh, very featureful, but useful for people um, that just want to basically mint a bunch of, of tokens uh, that don't do anything other than um, B. The number of parachains on uh, Kusama uh, to be uh, maybe 30 to 40 in the first year. So that, that kind of, that amount of auctions perhaps. Um, this is drum very, I can't emphasize enough, this is very much dependent on how uh, robust and reliable the code is. We're not going to push out parachains that we know are going to break Kusama. Uh, but um, 
Um, assuming that, that we don't have uh, any issues that we can't squash reasonably quickly, then um, that's the sort of number of chains that I would expect to see in the first year. Um, could be a little more, could be some, some less, but um, yeah, that, that's the sort of numbers. The, the sort of chain, the sort of number of chains that I would want to see functioning uh, robustly, reliably on Rococo before we start launching on Kusama, probably about 10. So if we can get Rococo to 10 parachains, all working very smoothly, then um, I'm reasonably happy to start uh, deploying that into Kusama. Um, and, uh, and as further optimizations come in, once we, um, uh, once we sort of get that parachains v1 code done, then um, uh, I would expect to see you know, an increasing number of parachain slots uh, out for auction. Um, and uh, and uh, properly, uh, you know, uh, six second uh, block time. So yeah, I mean, NFTs, a uh, bit of a hot topic at the moment. Uh, we've seen a lot of, uh, uh, we've seen some high value auctions of NFTs. We've seen some fairly successful NFT platforms. We've seen, um, you know, uh, some artists and, uh, and sort of well-known media figures get into the idea of NFTs, of law, you know, sort of releasing their own. I've even heard about NFTs from people, um, you know, utterly unrelated to the blockchain industry. Um, so it, it, I think it's definitely a growth area there, and uh, you know, it'll be very interesting to see how that how that um, uh, unfolds over the next year or two. I mean, this is something that obviously has been around for you know longer than the last few months. But um, you know, Crypto Kitties, what was that like, twenty sixteen, um, uh, maybe twenty seventeen. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, the, the idea of, of real world uh, uh, reputation, you know, sort of big media figures actually um, actually getting into NFTs with, uh, of it really turning mainstream is is pretty new. And um, I, I think it's definitely a, a wave that Polkadot can ride. It's not something that we and the core developer team are necessarily going to be putting a lot of our effort into. I think this is definitely something for the for the parachain teams, for the community of developers within Polkadot. Um, within the Polkadot ecosystem to address, um, and I think it's already being addressed to some um, uh, to some degree already. I, I would like to support this in in ways that make sense. So, uh, as I mentioned before, getting um, a non fungible assets palette into statement would be uh, one way that we would hope to uh, uh, support this. But I don't think I don't think it's really uh, at this point. I don't see. Um, much to do beyond provide that kind of central um, low feature um, point for um, NFTs to um, uh, to collect around. I think there will be NFT um, parachains being launched anyway that are going to provide much more interesting uh, sets of features for NFTs. Um, and I do think uh, uh, there are probably already teams out there that, that expect to be setting up marketplaces and exchanges for um, for NFTs, and I, I, this isn't this isn't something that we really need to to get into. But Parity and uh, and, and Web Three Foundation, and of course the the Polkadot and Kosama councils can help um, sort of uh, uh, um, uh, bring this important innovation uh, to the Polkadot ecosystem. I think I think we will uh, try. Yeah, and I mean this isn't something that's uh, that's been off the radar by any stretch. Um, the original version of the XCM message format, which I, I wrote up um, uh, six months ago at least now, I think maybe even longer, involved, included uh, non-fungible assets as part of its specification. This is something that XCM already supports in, pre uh, in principle. And once we have the non-fungible assets palette, I think uh, um, that will really complete the base level of functionality that Polkadot Core should be providing, Substrate should be providing. Yeah, I mean, I think the ecosystem is doing overall uh, very well. Great to see so many teams, um, uh, many of which are, are high quality, um, really pushing uh, forward with their technology, uh, really playing with uh, with Substrate and uh, and taking it um, um, through its uh, you know sort of feature set, developing really interesting um, interesting uh, products. Great stuff to see. Um, I think, uh, and honestly, like especially in uh, you know the, in the uh, the Chinese uh, uh, corner of the world, like we've got, we're seeing a lot of um, uh, really a lot of great teams and really a lot of, of thought going into 
how to really push the envelope. This is really more than I would have hoped for. So it's like really great to see, really great to see. In terms of like getting a prosperous ecosystem, I think I think it's the main thing that, that I'm, I'm looking to, um, uh, to push forward with uh, over the course of this year is a means of really allowing people to see the, uh, you know, as we say, the wheat from the chaff to try and identify those high quality, really innovative uh, teams and their products and dif differentiate them, distinguish them from, um, from, from the teams that are maybe uh, uh, based a lot more around buzz and hype uh, and, and haven't too much substance to them. So, um, you know, certifications and reputation systems, um, um, trying to get teams that actually, you know, build uh, valuable partnerships, um, try and, try and um, sort of make those partnerships clearer, uh, place them in, in a central location or several central locations or whatever for, um, uh, for the world to see. I, I think this is going to be a very important uh, cornerstone to getting good capital allocation for the crowd loans once they begin. So this is something that I would like to uh, develop um, Perhaps not directly, uh, but um, it's certainly something I would like to see and perhaps um, a guide to some degree, uh, whether it happens within parity uh, or as, uh, you know, uh, within the community in general, uh, sp perhaps sponsored by the um, uh, Polkadot or Kusama treasuries. I think that would be a very good use of, of treasury funding. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is this is definitely something that, that I would that I think we can do some work on. Uh, and I think it's something that would be very valuable to the community um, and the ecosystem in general. Once we've got Parachains launched, there's a few other bits that, that need to be done. Uh, Parachains are going to launch with a basic version of XCMP, um, essentially just to take us to that point uh, that was described in the Polkadot white paper uh, way back when uh, I published it first in, uh, in uh, late 2016, I think it was. Yeah, late 2016. Long time ago now, right? Nearly five years. Crazy. Um, and that, that will take us to, to sort of version 1.0 to launch. There's going to be work done, uh, substantial work done on XCMP following that, trying, you know, uh, bringing it into this like super heavily optimized, very high bandwidth uh, message passing bus that we need. Um, uh, once, certainly once the ecosystem heats up and we get a lot more parachains. Um, so that, that will be a, a big focus of the, uh, of the core team. In addition to that, we'll have Spree, um, uh, also uh, pushing forward, um, Cumulus uh, pushing forward with, as we say, contextual execution. Uh, what this basically means is that uh, blocks don't need to um, uh, uh, don't need to complete their processing uh, within uh, just the initial two seconds following the uh, finalization of the previous relay chain head. Um, basically, they can they can take a bit longer. Uh, and with this, uh, this will facilitate pipelining. And with pipelining, we should be able to reach that consistent six second block time for parachains. Now, there are some additional bits of technology that I would also like to see developed beyond Spree um, that I think sort of more or less qualifies core technology. One of them uh, will be, and, and bridges obviously, um, Bridges, we, we, uh, this is also something that I, I think is, is uh, very uh, sort of important to the project. And uh, uh, we are reaching uh, the point now where uh, we've, we've done a lot of auditing work. Uh, we're reaching to the point where we can confidently um, bring uh, forward the uh, bridge uh, between Polkadot and Kusama. Uh, uh, very uh, excited about this. This will also allow us um, to make good on our uh, uh, promise some time ago that 1% of the Genesis allocation, uh, Genesis block allocation of DOT tokens will be made available to uh, to the Kusama um, uh, 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 token holders. Um, the way this is uh, going to happen uh, will be um, basically that the, those DOT tokens, those, um, uh, what are we on, a billion, so 10 million DOT tokens, um, will be placed uh, directly under the Kusama treasury. Uh, so basically, Kusama network will hold 10 million DOT tokens for it to do what it wants. Um, uh, we'll see how that plays out. But uh, I mean, the Kusama treasurer already has a fairly large uh, uh, chunk of uh, capital in it in the form of KSM tokens. So um, yeah, I'm not sure how that how exactly that will play out, but we'll see.
So beyond bridges, uh, I, I would like to see some some other things. Uh, we're, we're probably going to move into a an area of technology that will allow uh, a sort of hybrid mechanism, a sort of hybrid security system between a bridged chain, which isn't secured at all, and a, a parachain, which is obviously as secure as the as the relay chain into a sort of a hybrid system that, that is based on um, security challenges and challenge periods, which will introduce latency to this chain. So it's going to be a, a sort of, um, there's going to be sort of additional uh, message, message times are going to be fairly, um, fairly long, like maybe several minutes, uh, possibly even up to an hour. But um, it will, that latency will buy um, a large amount of security. Um, from the relay chain, and this is going to be uh, this is quite quite an interesting proposition. I've mentioned it before, um, and uh, these kinds of secure bridges or, um, or secure solo chains, um, and this is something that that um, you know uh, beyond XCMP, beyond Spree, um, I would like to see developed, and that's maybe something that that, that our the core team at Parity will be taking on. Developing XCM, X, the XCM message format, making it more general, making it more um, uh, uh, more useful to um, uh, teams who are want to work beyond uh, uh, NFTs and, uh, and and sort of fungible um, uh, currencies. Um, this is also something that, that um, you know, we'll be spending some time on. Yeah, well, that's more or less all I uh, all I have to say for now. I hope you enjoyed the update. It's a real shame that I, I can't be there in person. I would really have liked to have been. Yeah, it's uh, it's not so easy to travel the globe right now, you know. I'm hoping that travel restrictions will lighten up uh, later this year, and that will uh, help um, me uh, uh, coming to see you in person. Uh, I do very much look forward um, to visiting and uh, yeah maybe in the summer it can happen uh until then um keep keep developing keep innovating keep pushing forward and uh let's uh yeah keep your eyes open um it should be a really interesting next month or two uh bye bye